Just wait till I get my hands on you. <laughs> get out of here! Come on, don't let him beat you like that. I'll get you back for that. Somebody punch this guy! You asked for it. He's got a gun. <gasps> None of my customers shop here anymore, and I think I know why. Will you do me a favor? Okay, lady. What do you need? There's this drug dealer, hangs around out back. He and his scumbag friends are scaring away my customers. Please, get rid of him for me. <coughs> Looking to upgrade your weapons? Spare a dime. All right, That monster gone, I can finally make this a respectable business. Please, let me give you a little money each week. You deserve it. Why won't she call me? I don't believe this. These streets could be yours for the right price. We could use a good man like you on the payroll. It's a deal, but don't let things get too out of control. Capiche? Who would do such a thing? Oh, what a shame. 
You got a nice smoke shop here. What's it worth to you? The cops run this town, not you thugs. Beat it! Don't make me beat it out of you. Get your dirty hands off of me. Stop. I give up. Just wait till I tell the cops about this. Don't hit me. Get your mitts off me. Daddy, stop picking on me. It'd be a shame if someone torched your smoke shop. What more can you get from me? I'll pay. Don't move! I'm gonna kick your ass! Oh, oh. Oh. Anyone you know? Anyone you know? Kabi? Don't worry! We got the Corleones covered! Oh, that's awful! Who would Speak do up if you got something to say! I wonder what happened. I gotta find a new job. Who would do Good. such a thing? Oh, what a shame. Oh, that's awful. Oh, no! How do I get to Carnegie Hall? Me. 
You're mine. Don Corleone wants to buy you out. Just enough for your retirement? That's a generous offer, I accept. But you better keep an eye on things, okay? Small-time bribery has its uses, but try to hit on the big fish to really make a neighborhood your own. A lot of police chiefs are greedy and open to suggestions. No. No, 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 no more. Not this time, Consigliere. No more meetings, no more discussions, no more salats or tricks. You give them one message. I want salats, so if not, it's all at war. We go to the mattresses, all right? Father wouldn't want to hear this. This is business, not personal, Sonny. They shot my father. That's business? Your ass. Even the shooting of your father was business, not personal, Sonny. Well, the business will have to suffer, all right? Listen, Tom, do me a favor. There's no more advice on how to patch things up. Just, just help me try to win this thing, okay? Hey, son. We'd like you to become an associate to the Corleone family. We can use a man of your abilities representing us out on the streets. The point I want to stress to you, though, if you're going to be one of our associates, is the power of negotiation, OK? Even with the way things are now, especially in times like this, use your head. A lawyer with his briefcase can steal more than 100 men with guns. Hey, kid, 
Listen, believe me, if you ever have a hundred guys with guns on your side, whatever you do, don't trade them in for some fucking lawyer. <laughs> You gotta meet over at Clemenza's house in Brooklyn. I think they know who betrayed the Don. Jaggy, long time no see. You did a good job with those shopkeepers. Maybe it's time to think bigger. Bigger is better. What are you thinking? With warehouses, the business starts to get pretty serious. So keep your wits about you. Just remember, owning the warehouses is the key to taking down the rival families. The dame at the drugstore is a real knockout. Go over to the compound. Tom and Sonny are waiting for you. It was Paulie Gatto who set up the dawn. You're gonna whack him. Today. We're gonna put his mind to ease first. Then I'll give you the signal. You'll know when it's time. I got you. I can do it. Good. You'll be making a better living after today. Here he is. Come on. Get the cannoli! 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, sit on the other side. That Sonny's running wild. He's thinking of going to the mattresses already. We gotta find a spot over on the west side. You know any good spots on the west side? Yeah. I think about it. Well, think about it while you're driving, will you? Pull over here. We own this restaurant. Hey, Paulie, you heard what my wife said. Run in and get me some cannoli. So what? I'm the grocery boy now? Paulie's going down today. But there's this thing we got to clean up first. A bar around the corner that the Dahlia's got. I need you to go upstairs and pick up the weapons and the dynamite I stashed up there. Okay, but don't be shooting at me, all right? This is your last warning. Pay up or die. Don't hurt me. Please, leave me alone. These Corleones don't know when to quit. Watch it, you jerk. Follow me. I have something for you. Okay, kid, follow me. When we get there, I need you to place the dynamite on the second floor behind the bar. Then get the hell out of there. Me and Paulie will keep an eye out downstairs. Those Italian Gavones won't know what hit him. <laughs> What do you want? They're here! Get them! Kill all those fools! Oh, 
long. The next one's going between your eyes! What are you talking about? I was covering you. Yeah. I knew you was good for something, Paulie. You make my wife very happy. <laughs> Pull over, will you? I gotta take a leak. They only asked me to call in sick, nothing more. You just don't know when to quit, do you?
Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Christ. Waco! I asked you to bring us a car, not the entire fucking police force. They picked me up on a bridge. I couldn't shake it. Christ. Let's get out of here. Kid, you drive. Paulie won't be needing his safe house no more. Kid, you can have it. Use it as a home base for getting your business done here in Brooklyn. The family's in chaos. First the Don, then Galtasino, and now this. I wouldn't be surprised if Salazzo and Bruno Tatalia try to take advantage of the situation. Just lay low for a while. We'll call you when we need you. 